we're on the character select screen. Both players just taking sips of water, locking it in, sitting down. One more set, two more sets, six games away for Quid, three away for Zomba, and just one trophy on I'm the shaking. line. I got goosebumps. Because that Alpha 5 set, I can only think back to it. That was definitely a Molly Wop for Quid, but we, as we saw in their set before, Quid, he had a fire. He wanted the run back. You can definitely see he was challenging Zamba for it. And now, warming up a little bit through the losers. You can and see, the but Zamba answering back with a good old footstool for that first stock. And speaking of Alpha 5 in Grand Finals, Zamba hit four footstool stocks just like that on Quid. He loves to look for it. And even though Quid has right, warmed up and playing hot out of losers, Zamba's had the VODs to watch. Now, I really want to say one thing real quick that I've noticed from the Alpha 5, and I've noticed about this set as well. Zamba has been, has had a very keen eye for figuring out Quid's recovery routes and kind of watching him. He just watches that turtle, that plant dog, that whatever come back down, and that's a lot of the time where he gets a lot of those kills. Exactly, exactly. Right, each Pokemon has a different recovery route, but they all have a pretty linear recovery if you really think about it. And Quid recognize, or Zomba recognizing the space that Quid wants to occupy to keep it ambiguous, and that's the space he's threatening. He's not necessarily threatening the space itself, he's threatening the space where he can either recover or switch. That's where he's finding those footstools. Keeping Quid in the corner, Quid trying to find a way out, Snivy. Can he do so? Or is it going to be Zomba locking him in the edge just like in the winners? Yeah, and there we go, eating the Zombear. Quick three stock happening online here, but we already know Quid might be able to shave off one stock here, but it's a question of. Can he get that second one? Can he come back? And the thing is, Zamba has been locking down that neutral so much because with with Rob, right, you have Gyro, you got the Beyblade, you got the laser. It holds down so much, and you saw Quid, he always has to fight out from the corner. Exactly what you just said now at 140, right? Squirtle not having a ton of kill power, being very light, but you just, the way the set's gone, right? Squirtle by far has been your best Pokemon, especially in neutral. Ivysaur doing a lot of work too, but that Charizard's just really been a liability. I don't expect we'll see it much. Zomba's so good at punishing it. But even still, if I, the Ivysaur, you just switch to a slightly bigger, slightly slower body, and already you've taken 75. I've quit just getting stuffed out. Zomba just really saying, okay, you, you can't move anymore. Well, cool. 3% for and me. And Quid trying to land aggressively back onto the stage, but Zomba is still logging him this down. This robot is staring at him with the killer eyes with that down air. Did you see that? Yes, I did. He tried to fly high, soar to the sky, and instead no Zamba in said, you know what? Yeah, you, you can fly, but guess what? I'm going to ground you. I'm going to cast, I'm going to use one of my PP and use gravity, right? Pulling you back down to the ground, and just like that, Snivy. Hey, yo, Zamba tossed the iron ball on. He's like, hey, come back to come back to reality. Yeah, you want to hold this earthquake? Yeah, pop, popped, popped that uh, that that, that uh, air balloon. Yeah, give a little snipe. Yeah, pop that air balloon, right? Keeping him on the ground, bringing it back out, and now we're seeing a new stage counter pick as Quid digs deep into his bag of tricks, trying to figure out what do I do, where do I find it? Maybe town and city, maybe Tom Nook. Maybe Zamba's got some back data taxes that he's got to oh pay that I don't know about. God, the honestly. Quid's weight game, the patience he exhibits all night. I love how threatening it is, and I feel like Zamba, Zamba has not respected it whatsoever tonight. He may fall victim, but he's like, nah, I'ma still force my game plan. I'ma still enact the will that is robot operating buddy Rob here. And the thing with Zamba is, regardless of who he's playing, but it doesn't matter if you're an O2 or, or you're MK Leo. Zamba goes into every set with the mentality. Oh my God! I look at his chase. Hold on. He goes into the mentality with every. Uh, the mentality every set with the with I am better than you and I'm just gonna beat you right and he plays like it It's why he's so aggressive. It's why he goes for these reads and just goes for call outs And if he's wrong, well, it doesn't matter But he just believes he's never gonna be wrong and as a result, you know, he's he's not finding the down smash That's another oh opportunity my God. trapping you between in the mistech the gyro nowhere to go beautiful checkmate from him there and Snivy I mean, it's already starting to get out of hand for Quid again. Yeah, honestly, when you are playing this game, right, when you're playing this, you have to have that ego. You have to have that winner's mentality kind of inset. But you always have to have that discipline to kind of just lean on back, know what you got to deal with, what you got to work on. But with Zamba, he definitely knows how to put that fire in his heart. And we can see still hanging on with the 156. No, or go Quid, just trying to find the pressure, trying to dive on him. The upbeat, 
Ooh, is gonna take it with that small wow. Town City Blast Zones there. Yeah, but he even still, he was DIing up off the top. It didn't look quite optimal. You know, who knows if he could have oh, survived. Man. Quit had an opportunity, could have gone for the upping, and maybe looked for a stock trade off. Again, those small Town Blast Zones. Instead, just opting to reset, right? Keep this ledge trap going. Try and find some extra mileage compared to game one. But guess what? It's Zamba who's got the gas mileage, racking it up. Quid though catching the DI mix up, so he's not gonna lose his stock one more shot. And then we got the chase on the platform as well to put him in the corner. This is where you want to be, especially when you have Ivysaur. And you can see Quid trying to take him with these aggressive options, but Zamba with that down tilt train, giving him the hands with the down smash. And he hits a lot of those on Quid, right? We saw obviously that's the second one we've seen this game. But he hit them in the Alpha 5 set too. He's hit them all the time. He doesn't go for it often, but against certain players, you see Zamba pull out these grounded tech chase down smashes. Finding it there, Quid getting on the board, back on the board, bringing it to a last stock situation, getting away finally using that platform to find a way out of that gyro rotor arm. And Snivy, he's got an opportunity if he can get back down. The question is, can he even reset to neutral? Yeah, and right now, Quid catching those Zamba hands right now. You can see him. Patiently, just trying to dash in, dash out, trying to find that option, but Zamba reacting very well with these nares, trying to shut down these jump in approaches, trying to just walk, walking right on in, but Kui trying to get something started, but nope, good old back throw, gonna throw you in the corner, trying to go for the laser snipe as well, Quid still hanging on here. And beautiful stall from Quid, right? Just weaving it back in such a way that Zamba just didn't really have a good window to time that down air. He had to guess, and Quid able to react just Pull the trigger slightly later, use that tether to its max distance and just chip away. Even though it's 71 to 108, this is still anyone's game. Unfortunately, Hold down up. throw, Fire gonna put you in a very up air, gonna get up tilt, gonna get away before the up air. Snivy and this window is closing fast. The down throw though could be an opportunity. Yep, and the chase as well, you have the platform as well. We already know how Quid loves to pressure with those up airs and the downers as well. You can see him just trying to hover around as well. But okay, still hanging on to that space as well. Yep. Watching Zamba oh, no. kind of swing from disadvantage, but no, the suspect DI! That's another game for Zamba on the board, yeah. seemingly robbing that from Quid. You know, he took the robotic operating buddy and took it right away. I agree with you, absolutely. But before he robbed it, right, before he found that up air and Quid, you know, whether the DI was amazing or not, a little hard to tell with Town Blast Zones and our lack of replay capabilities here, but before that, Quid had the opportunity for a down air and kind of just panic air dodge back to stage instead, right? You saw the nerves get to him just a little bit. He knows he can do it here on this stage, but now with Zamba one game away, you have a reverse 3-0 to even reset the bracket, and if you find that, you have to take a whole nother set. Snivy, this is about as big a test as Quid will ever face, no matter the event of caliber, and I mean, the way this is starting right now, he needs to change something fast. That is right, especially in these grand finals here. Coming from the loser side, you got a reverse three to work on. You got a whole nother set to go through, but right now, you got to focus what's on front of you. And you can see that Quid having a tall order, having the, the percent deficit as well as Zamba putting the hands on this man right now. You can see him trying to trap his landings this time around. Yeah, but the withdraw going to allow Quid to get out of dodge real quick. Surf just racking on an extra, a little bit extra percent. Now those back airs, right, you're just trying to keep this corner going, but Zamba's just mixed up his nair time. He's just enough. He's not relying on it, so Quid can't consistently oh punish him. And recovery. the tether canceled to the platform. Stevie, have you ever seen that before? I definitely have not, but I know that Zamba shrugging off is like, nah, I'll just take it as a free stock. I'll take it as free real estate here going forward. Yeah, it doesn't matter how much swagger you have, right? If ultimately it's oh, you no. being put in the blast zone. And nah, Quid learning on. that lesson the hard way. Zamba just, again, applying that I am better than you mentality using this gyro, right? Mixing up his throw angles, calling out Quid's option to play around him over and over. And again, right, this is Quid getting trapped at the ledge, just like in that winner set. He hasn't been able to find his out way out efficiently. Honestly, now this is the reversal of what I said before. This Quid, or Zamba is allowing Quid to come in, respecting his options to kind of just find an option to get on in. And we can see Quid, you know, not really fearing it. He's like, all right, 
I'm gonna just continue to play my game plan. You're just gonna have to play off it, but he finally gets that stock, but let's see if he can clap back and here. And Quinn just taking that final hit of the up tilt, allowing him to not be put in as much hit stun, right? And just get away through that down air. This time, Zamba again chasing, trying to find the platform, putting Quid in the corner. But the up throw gonna maybe come out of the gyro. Oh, no city, great baby. DI away. If Zamba DI'd the other direction, it would have oh, come out the gyro and death. This is a whole bunch of percent. Oops. Getting a little over antsy though. And Zamba going to never let a mistake go unpunished, right? Calling out that over aggressive Vine Whip with a Nair taking the Let's stock. see the conversion and that into the being right said, Snivy, one more stock. Can Zamba close it? Or is Quid gonna give himself one more chance. Honestly, we'll see here because the way that Zama's playing, I love how he's kind of just trapping those approaches from Quid with the Nairs as well. He hasn't been able to kind of air to air and you can see him getting sandwiched, getting a body from the Beyblade as well and still chucking it back at Quid's head. He's unable to just deal with this right now. He's absolutely right. Not able to find his way. You see him having to respect these back airs now respect everything except that Nair, right? He's starting to contest it, but Zamba gonna mix up the timing and punish you for that immediately. Oh, His level on. of adaptation this set, Snivy, has been so fast. It feels like as soon as Quid catches on to what Zamba's doing, Zamba changes it just a little, allowing him to not only play around the adaptation, but allow him to go back to what worked before because Quid basically has to completely throw it out the window. Honestly, one mistake from Quid, it's gonna mess up this game because he needs to have the most oh, disciplined, one. neutral, and state to play and to kind of just deal with There Zamba it is. Here. He put himself in the corner, but the weak hit back are going to do it. However, the laser going to put him at ledge. Can he find his way back? Beautiful mix up of the platform. Finding his way through the laser somehow made it back after all that. He made that mistake. You were talking oh, about giving him the opportunity. Can tap with the up air? We have. Oh my god, that's a game on the board for Quid Games here. Do oh, not count this Westchester it star takes out. This is. One, Snivy. That is All one. That it is one. Takes is one to get you started. Get that momentum, right? One rung on the ladder. Can he get to two? Can he get to three? Can he get to that next floor? Pull himself up, slide it back, and do it all again? Or there were is no mistakes. it going to end here, right? Back still against the wall. You got yourself a couple more stocks to play with, but you don't have any wiggle room on the game front. Zamba now bringing us back to town and city too, saying, hey, actually, you know what? I like the stage as much as you did. Yeah, exactly. Using those platforms to just IT with the combos with Squirtle as well, and Squid's masterful trapping with the Ivysaur, especially with the up airs, but we already know. Zamba, he loves to get his own combos kind of rolling, and he definitely loves to be trapping with the good old Droz on the platforms to get those kills. And right now, see? Chucking him back with the fourth throw as well. Quid utilizing that space to kind of just get back to the center and find the space to where he can kind of just stare down Zamba and find these openings to just get on in. And Quid, when his back against the wall, does this thing. Uh -oh. We're seeing it here where he plays really slow, defensive, and patient and then just explodes. And he plays these advantage states and presses neutral ult for stage control really quickly. But then other than that, Oh, what you air dodge in for? What a call out, Snivy. He quit with a brutally efficient lead. Fantastic first knock, knock, and just racking on the extra credit. This is the most commanding lead we've really seen from either player so far in this set. And you would have thought the way it went that it'd be going to Zamba, but no, Quid just waking up when it matters most. Oh my god, still getting up in the stage with the DP and switching back to the Ivy Store. Now I just want to say that Quid has been abusing Zamba's disadvantage and Rob's in general, which is a general weakness of them trying to land. But speaking of not trying to land, the Vine Whip putting in the work, and putting him with those Town and City Blasts, mm -hmm. taking that side very early. And the not, it wasn't just the Vine Whip, right? Zamba was trying to get away from it, but the platform pulled away, right? Just started to, as that Vine Whip was coming up, and literally pulled Zamba back into the Vine Whip. The platform said, hold on, no, 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 no. I, I don't care who you are, Zamba. Again, you haven't paid your taxes. We did find those files. So we're going to take a stock as a result. Now, one more left. Zamba getting on the board. Not something you, that would have sounded so smart just a moment ago, but Quid with a full stock lead here and an, uh, every opportunity to bring us to a game five. Yeah, and trapping so with the squirrel here. He converted the down throw into the upbeat, but Zamba trying to clap back with these Rob jabs, these hands. You can see him going for the upbeat as well. Tries to land for the empty hop down tilt, but no, he's not able to get it out here. No, he's not beautiful. I love that fair from Quid, right? Fast falling at the last minute and drifting back. Zamba expecting it's gonna hit, but Quid instead just falling right in front of his shield, 
and being able to find the pressures of all. Back throw, gonna not kill yet, but Zamba has to be so scared. He has to go up high, trying to find town. the Vine Whip, and that Razor Leaf he could have confirmed. Bring it just around didn't want to find town, it. game two! Snivy, quid combo coming in clutch, no platforms necessary, not able to find the, those Vine Whips, right? Not wanting to pull the trigger off that Razor Leaf, even though he maybe could have, but the result is all the same. Game five. Quid on it's the happening. verge it's of a reverse 3 0. And if he takes the set, right? We're getting kicked out of Dave and Busters. How is Zamba gonna, like, how is Zamba gonna respond, right? The real question, you know, of these two players. Zamba, known for, you know, relatively speaking, having an inconsistent mental. His mental is still very good, but, you know, at times he's definitely. It, it's definitely cracked, right? And a reverse 3 0 is certainly a good way to test that. I definitely want to say, and I want to take a mention to the time right now. It is 12 21. We're out here playing way past midnight, and you got to be thinking these players, their mentals, they're got to be whittling down. They definitely got to be getting tired. And we already know that Zamba showed a much dislike to kind of these late brackets, but I don't know about quick games. He might be basking in the glory here at the midnight here. Listen, when you're a college student, right, you know those odd sleep schedules, right, those time. weird hours. And I don't doubt that, you know, Quid's probably pulled at least one all-nighter working on music for his band or homework or something. And so he is must be used to these late nights. I know for sure as a college student, I am. And Quid just tearing it up right now. This game very even. Wh whoever takes the first talk, I think, is very well positioned to take the We're going to see if Quid can put this high school in his place. And yes, he is doing that very well with the downer. You can see him chasing it as well. Zamba forced to kind of clap back within there. But here we go. Beyblade set up. But nope. Vine Whip going to eat right through that. Yes, it is. This laser trying to find the gyro. Finally, Quid Ooh, avoiding the, the gyro back. with a switch, right? And we see the Charizard out for the first time in a while. Quid now with a big enough lead, a high enough percent that, you know, he doesn't entirely care if he loses a stock to it, and it's finally working, right? Zamba with his back against the wall now, gonna call out the fly, right? Just keep it on shield, let that hitbox deactivate, and then finally up smash on reaction. Beautiful stuff, beautiful patience. Yep. But Snivy, he's still got a ways to go just to bring it back. Yep, and this is a no-fly zone for Quid right now. Zamba trying to put this turtle up in the air, keep it in a juggle, but we already know the Squirtle, that's a small little fella. You can see him just trying to get his way in with these fairs, with these beautiful space backers as well. And that's one of the things that has been paying so much for Quid right now. The spacing on all of his aerials, it has allowed him to escape this advantage so many times. Find so many openings as a Zombo. As well as his spacing on stage, when he's holding center, he likes to hold that middle corner, right, that interior corner of the platform closer to center stage. But when he's at ledge, he just resets back to the corner and basically Yeats. baits Zamba to make a mistake. He doesn't try to take stage control. He doesn't try. Uh, he just keeps fainting in and out, playing patient, and just let Zamba get over aggressive, knowing that he loves to try and call you out. Yeah, and look at Quid being aggressive in the corner himself. You know, getting maybe a little bit of reversal, but we already know that Quid gonna come back from this and yes he does in the center but hold up he's trying to play the rob mario party mini game here yes he is but unfortunately right not gonna find a result you're looking for zamba now forced to go high burn some of that fuel just to get back and they're gonna let you land that move's not really punishable unfortunately and the gyro coming in clutch forcing quid to expend all his resources and the gyro or the rotor arm zamba mashing like hell to keep that move active just a little longer in the very last hit going to put Quid on tournament hold stock once on, again. Hold on, Trying to scoop him up once again with the Rotor. Trying to get something going. But Quid, the forward air, killing him right now. And, and again, it's an even game. We're down to the wire here. And it's very important that he found that stock when he did, right? Only 36% means that he can stay Squirtle safely, right? That's really been his key to racking on that early damage. When he hasn't been able to get Squirtle going, he's gotten dominated. So Quid now in a perfect situation, keeping this game oh as God. even as it can be. Both players are scrapping back and forth. Whoever can find a ledge trap here, I think keeps their opponent at the ledge. This is Quid's opportunity. Can he close it out? Zamba just looking to go high, but with that gyro on stage, he can't use it as a mix-up. Oh, but the fair trapping the air dodge as well. This is how Quid is going to get the upper hand and make this reset happen off the up air. One. Oh my God. And one more set. Quid bringing it back as close as you can be. He was down 2-0 to Yoda Cage, or 2-1 to Yoda Cage, right? Barely stole that game one, went 
Pac-Man. We original. were like, what? And then Hold up, went down 2-0 to Zomba, and then reverse 3-0'd him in dominant let's, fashion. Let's let's have a good old analyst this here. Let's before this reset happens, let's let's break it down real quick. Let's see what what is happening to Quid right now that so, he's able to just get up on Zamba. Yeah. Okay. Right. So an unfortunate adjustment here. We are have gone so far over that the venue is saying we don't care your tournament's still happening. If you guys don't wrap up soon, it's, we're gonna kick you it's out. It's Dave and Buster. So if you know. You know, the but shout out to Dave and Buster so long as used his venue in this space. Unfortunate end to a fantastic event. Gonna be best two out of three. And you asked what happened to Quid. I, I, I think he just really woke up. He started playing a lot more patient with Squirtle. And he started mixing the pace of his play a lot more. Calling out Zomba's landings and just forcing Zomba to recover high. Right Once he went high, we saw those extended juggles really where Quid's made his money and got more efficient on those ledge traps. So overall, just, I mean, he just cleaned up his mistakes. Yeah, honestly, with Quid, right? We were talking about how he's able to like build and play that slow pace and have a really explosive advantage today, and that's really been paying off as well. And uh, one of the other key things in the set against Zamba here is he's abusing Zamba's and Rob's disadvantage today so well, catching a lot of these air dots, because with Rob, right, you're getting juggled. This is like the only option you kind of have to the ground. You have two linear options, right? You have Nair, you have air dodge. And we saw Quid getting a lot of parries on the last one, so Zamba's definitely going to have to mix it up and try to find a lot more smarter openings to kind of just get down to this ground. And I you can agree. see, he's getting the hands on right now. Beautiful jab lock to the S smash. That is a quick stock for no or quid here. New set, same result. Quid picking up right where he left off in grands. One again, right, just putting this pressure on. And one of the other big differences has been his his back air spacing mix ups on shield, right? He's mixing rising backers, falling backers, full drift in back airs, drift or forward airs, drift back forward airs. And just, okay, I'm going to drift, I'm going to whiff your shield intentionally so I don't get put in that shield stop. And Zamba just keeps getting caught by the mix-ups. It's been a beautiful stuff, beautiful SDI out of that up air as well, and he still can't pin Quid down. Yeah, and exactly, one of the tools that he needs to kind of just implement is just avoiding a lot of these setups and getting those Zombears off. Very clean, by the way, but avoiding Quid's setups. That is one thing he has to play around mm -hmm. and kind of just... Dealing with these options, utilizing his tools to kind of just get something and, going against uh, and Quid here. Beautiful air dodge from Zaba, right? Avoiding that platform. Quid's done such a good job letting him land on them, trapping him, right? Juggling him and putting him, hitting him every time he lands on a platform, right? Staying below him as Squirtle, as oh Ivy Sword. My God. And the down smash to boot on the two frame. Snivy, Quid is playing on point. This is the LMBM champion, right? Honestly, this is the man that we've too. seen. And he's racking on that percent like nobody's business. Snivy, are we going to just see him run away with this game? Hold on, he definitely might be, but you can't be saying that. You can't be saying that when we have Zomba sitting in that other seat playing Rob. We already know how he likes to deal with, but right now, Quid is putting that pressure on. We have him down to his last stock here. He is switching out to the Ivysaur. The Vine Whip, not going to do the job, but we're going to see what kind of chase is he going to cook up. But hold up, Zomba still and on the flop right here. The SDI again. Quid noticing that Zamba is liking right to jump in and then drift back out, which puts you at the very edge of that up air, meaning you can SDI out of it if they don't mix you back up. Zamba hasn't looked for it and going to get safe. down aired again, even after the nerf early on. Right, that move's still the size of Jupiter. Gonna close it out. Zamba or Quid now. Counter pick advantage, one game away again. Unfortunately, due to time constraints, this has to become a best of three. Yeah, this might and be the last potential game. And what a brutal a way. Here. What a brutal way for the event to end. But what a honestly, fantastic event. Honestly, it has been so well played. This might be the end, but like, oh my god. It was it was an honor casting and being with you. But we can't be saying that yet. We can't be saying Sir, that yet. The yep. gloves are still on for yep. both of them. Don't worry. But we'll what get I really, our stinger. What I really we'll wanted it. to say was... Zamba, I saw him take a drink of that water. This is really going to be a test because I feel like in the time that he has for that reset, Quid's mental has really clutched up. And Zamba, he's looking a little nervous. He's looking a little shook a lot with his um, disadvantage options. Yeah, but if you can see his face, face, you'll see he is breathing deeply. Just took a deep inhale. 
slid his chair in and re-centered himself of, as you said, right, feeling those nerves, knowing his back is against the wall. But also that sigh indicates maybe he saw something, maybe he found an adjustment, but whatever it is, he hasn't been able to implement it yet. Quid once again catching his landings, utilizing this platform vertically, not horizontally, to lane, saying, okay, you're either going to land on platform, so I have to control this third, you're going to land to the right, so I have to control this third, or the left, and I have to control this third, and just utilizing Squirtle's speed and Ivysaur's huge hitboxes to just cover everything. Yeah, and Quid setting up with the back throw here and just trying to trap, Z trap Zomba's landing as well, but hold up the Nair, doing wonders here, able to get him in a little bit of a juggle. We have the Gyro for the damage as well. Is he going to get the sandwich? But no, the... The fine whip! And Smashville Blast Zone Snivy. This stage is small. And speaking of small, the Zombie are gonna close it out. Not expecting that Vine Whip to hit right, so his DI wasn't optimal, but cleaning up the mistake the best way he knows, finding the tried and true El Diablo when it matters most, and just even using a neutral right to control a little bit of stage. And the big thing for Zomba here is on Smashville, you really need to hold that stage control, right? Be able to basically set up a little house where you can fire your lasers, fire your gyros, and just zone out Quid, but so far it's been Quid dominating the stage control, which means that Zomba on a stage oh this small has God. nowhere to run. The coverage, the chase with the Vine Whip, covering such a huge amount with that cup, that space, and you can see he has the angles, he has those angles on lock. Yes, he does one stock away. Zomba now on tournament stock. It felt like just a moment ago, Snivy, that we were saying the same thing about Quid before he took one, two, three games, forced the reset, took a fourth, putting him one away. Now a full stock up. Can he close it? Can Zomba find one last breath? Yeah, the way that Quid has been mixing up his recoveries and his disadvantage has been doing so well in this matchup. He, Zamba, has not been able to kind of find an answer as well. You can see him just trying to swing. Every time he would try to swing, nope, Razor Leaf. Anytime he tries to get the gyro, nope, Vine Whip. Shutting him down completely all the time. Yep, and that being said though, right, beautiful juggle by Zamba, right, calling out Quid on that cross up with an up tilt. He's been so good at those all night, but Quid, you know, started to find the openings as Zamba went away from it. And yep, this downer could be of a beautiful the soul, cinematic. but not one, not two, but the third one. Gonna do it. Snivy, what a tournament. Quid Clap games it up. when it matters Clap most. It up. And I mean, what a 